There's no denying we all love to eat out. Street food has become a part of our lives, especially in urban areas, for many reasons. It's easily available everywhere, it's cheap, and most of all, it's delicious. While most vendors nowadays adhere to the health and hygiene guidelines and try their best to provide great quality, clean and scrumptious food, it's not always the case. Out in the streets, you'll come across all kinds of disgusting things being sold as edibles. Some may look fine on the surface, but the way they're made, certain ingredients used in them and the poor hygiene of places where they're made will make you want to push a finger in your throat and throw up what you've consumed. From the gross and unhygienically prepared street food to food fried in oil obtained from sewers, we're going to tell you about the most horrifying facts about certain food that you definitely won't ever want to put in your mouth again. But first, take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking the small bell icon below the video. By doing so, you're signing up for an endless supply of informative and interesting videos. Who wouldn't want that, right? Insects in your food Have you ever thought about eating insects? We all know that in certain cultures, these tiny creatures form a regular part of the cuisine. But if you don't belong to one of these cultures, we're sure that you'll be grossed out by the idea of eating insects as we are, if not more. Swallowing a beetle or just having to munch on grasshopper limbs is the kind of thing you end up doing in a nightmare or watch your favourite actor do in a survival thriller, or as we like to call it, a horror film. But what if we tell you that insects have been a regular constituent of many food items you've been consuming without knowing it? Don't believe us? We get it. Who would want to be told the horrifying reality that they've been eating insects all their life? But it's true. Check out the ingredient list of your favourite candy, or that strawberry yoghurt you can't get enough of. If the ingredient list includes a colouring agent called E120, rest assured that you've been eating cochineals, and that too in huge numbers. This insect is native to Latin America and is whitish with a soft, rounded body. It generally feeds on plants. But what makes this insect stand out is the ability to produce carminic acid to protect itself from predators. This carminic acid has a beautiful crimson red color. So, for commercial purposes, these cochineals are raised in special kinds of cactus plantations. They're then harvested from these plants before being dried in the oven or under the sun. After drying, these insects are crushed and immersed in boiling water for a few seconds. This last step leads to the extraction of the color, and the harvested substance is then used as a cosmetic, especially in the food coloring industry. This colouring agent is used by thousands of brands out there, mainly in the colouring of crusts of certain cheeses, sausage crusts, and in drinks like the famous sodas we consume on a day-to-day -day basis. Fesik This ancient Egyptian dish is made up of dead, fermented fish. Each year, the Egyptian ministry warns its people not to eat it, since it can cause severe problems if it's not cooked in the same ancient style as it was cooked when it was discovered. In that era, the locals of the area knew exactly how to make this dish, and then they passed on the recipe. Any variation in the recipe can cause poisoning by botulinum toxins. It can be fatal too if not properly handled. But people do not pay any heed to these warnings and continue consuming this dish regardless. The expert cooks claim that the recipe was passed on to them as a heritage from generation to generation and can be traced back to the time of the pharaohs. Every year, a large number of fish were left rotten on the shores of the River Nile. That was the time when this dish was invented. Nowadays, it's made in a different way with proper methods and precautions. The fish is properly scaled, salted and then dried in the sun. Then it's kept for 45 days in a sterilized bowl full of brine. This procedure produces this divine dish with a pungent smell. It's a famous traditional cuisine in Egypt. Kasu Mazu Italy has always been famous for its cheese. But today we're going to tell you about a cheese you wouldn't want to try no matter how daring you are. It's called Casu Mazu. It's made on the island of Sardinia from sheep's milk. At first glance, this cheese looks like the famous Pecorino cheese, but when you look closely, you'll be astonished to find a hidden ingredient in it. It contains live maggots. Yes, you heard us right. If you're traveling, be sure to check your food before eating it because it might have some living creatures roaming inside it. Some people prefer to remove the maggots before eating this food because they can be harmful to us in many ways. Firstly, they can fly and attack to almost 15 centimeters, which means there's a chance of flying into your eyes, nostrils, or any other hole in your head. Secondly, if ingested, sometimes they can cause severe infection. It's horrible and happens when this soft cuisine is not digested by the enzymes and the gastric juice. When that happens, the parasites can make a home in your intestines and can prove to be lethal. 
The Italian authorities and the supervisory institutions of the European Union banned the production and selling of Kasumazu many years ago. The local farmers of Sardinia tried their best to remove the ban by calling this cheese a traditional cuisine, since they were earning in large numbers from it. They were unsuccessful with that endeavor, but nowadays you can easily purchase Kasumazu from the black market. If you plan to do that, make sure to close your eyes before consuming it and arrange for any medical emergency beforehand, as you are about to eat something very dangerous. Blood Clams These live in the waters of southeastern seas and are one of the strange cuisines found in Asia. They are blood red in color due to the high levels of hemoglobin in their body, and hence they're named blood clams. In some Asian countries like China, it's a very famous food. They serve it raw, boiled, or steamed. By treating these fish with heat, you can cook them, but this treatment cannot protect us from diphtheria and hepatitis because it contains a large number of bacteria that can cause either of these diseases. In Shanghai, the poorly cooked blood clams caused a severe outbreak of hepatitis A. Almost a thousand people were infected, and 31 to 47 of them died from it. Blood clams were banned in Shanghai after this horrible incident, but in other parts of China, they're consuming blood clams like before. They don't care whatever happens to them, they know the danger, but continue their old practices. In Korea, they treat these clams at a very high temperature, which effectively kills bacteria in them and makes them safe for use as food. The infamous Kinder Surprise These small chocolate eggs are super popular among children all across Europe, especially in Italy, where they were first created back in 1974. These eggs are a tribute to the long-standing Italian and French tradition of baking coins into desserts, with the luckiest family member getting the slice with the prize. The reason why the Kinder Egg is a fan favorite is that its delicious egg contains a surprise toy inside, and we don't know about kids, but the thought of a cute little gift inside our chocolate excites us. The USA, however, chose to ban the egg for the reason that it may be a potential choking hazard, even though the chocolate egg is separately sealed from the toy. But the US decided it's better not to take a risk with the health of a child, as there are a few reported cases of kids choking to death from the Kinder Egg toys. Chinese Vendors Recycling Sewage Oil Now, this one is just extra nasty. As it turns out, many restaurants and street vendors are maximizing their profits by selling the most unhygienic food to ever exist. They're recycling sewage oil. Yep, you heard it right. They directly collect the oil from city sewers into buckets. These collectors are horrible people who adulterate this awful oil and sell it to local restaurants and street food stalls. Experts have shown concern regarding this hideous practice and are of the review that one in ten of all the meals sold in the country is subject to this distasteful practice. So basically, one-tenth of Chinese street food is fried in this oil. And to further increase their profits, these vendors are collecting animal fat and dead rotting animal parts from the sewers of slaughterhouses and use it to make frying oil. Despite the authorities trying their best to put an end to this business, it continues to thrive and rob people of their health. Paidan O Century Egg Whether you call them century eggs, hundred-year eggs, millennium eggs, or whatever, these outlandish ova are a Chinese delicacy dating back centuries to the Ming Dynasty. The boastful name suggests these eggs take forever to make. This is a misnomer. Century eggs take about four to five weeks to make, a few minutes to work up the courage to open, and a few seconds to eat. Traditionally, century eggs were made by preserving chicken or duck eggs in a mixture of salt, lime and ash, then wrapping in rice husks for several weeks. During this time, the pH of the egg raises, transforming the egg. The chemical process breaks down some of the proteins and fats into smaller, more complex flavors. After curing, the yolk of the egg turns a dark green and has a creamy consistency, while the white turns amber and is gelatinous. They can be served in cold dishes such as a salad or can be paired with soy sauce and green chilies for a spicy lunch. Kipiong now let's talk about a plant source too that can be fatal if not prepared in the proper way that it should be. It's the kipiyong fruit that's grown in Malaysia. The seeds of this delicious fruit contain cyanide, a poison that can cause death on the spot if consumed in a large quantity. It's a cuisine in Malaysia and must be prepared with great care, otherwise it can be dangerous and prove to be fatal. The good fact is that these trees are decreasing in number in Malaysia naturally due to frequent floods. Maybe this is nature's way of saving them from the danger of this fruit? The locals and the farmers who grow these fruits know the exact safe way of cooking them. McMaggots 
People across the globe love McDonald's fast food like Big Macs, McNuggets, and, well, sometimes McMaggots. In 2019, an unfortunate Aussie customer faced something unusual. While he was ready to enjoy his hot, scrumptious meal, he realized that his food was infested with maggots. Well, you can imagine how disgusted he was feeling. Just watch the clip and see how he felt about it. Oh, look at him, you can see him fucking moving. That is absolutely disgusting. 2018. And this he was quite unhappy with the standard of hygiene at McDonald's. The worst part is that he'd eaten some of it. He hadn't been the only customer to face this situation. An Australian lady also found herself cringing at these critters when she bought a Happy Meal for her son. Her accusations posted online were undermined by the giant fast food chain. Atki. This tree grows in Jamaica and its fruits are consumed by Jamaicans. They use it as a side dish with the salted cod. It's a traditional food in Jamaica, but it can be very dangerous. If by any chance you end up having the unripe fruit or the black seeds of this fruit, you can even die. They contain poisonous substances which can cause Jamaican vomiting sickness. Every year, a large number of people are affected by this disease due to the wrong use of this fruit as food. Special care should be taken while preparing it for consumption. Stinky Tofu It's the name that turns most people off, even before they wonder what it might taste like. It's a fermented tofu that has a very potent smell. You definitely smell it half a block before you see it. The traditional dish is tofu fermented in a mixture of milk and a vegetable, meat and fish-based brine, or a combination of these ingredients. It's usually deep-fried in vegetable oil and served with chili and soy sauce and served in small squares, skewered together and served on a plate. It can also be found steamed, stewed or served in the soup. Biting into stinky tofu feels like biting into a piece of soft cheese and tastes best when served with a sauce or toppings. Want to know where to find it? Simply follow your nose. Vanilla flavoring We all love beavers, the nice little aquatic rodents. They're so popular that a lot of teams worldwide pick them as their mascots. But they aren't just cute animals we love to film for our animal videos. They're also pretty intelligent creatures who've provided humanity with quite a lot of insight into the matters of aquatic hydraulics. It's no secret that they build the best dams and dikes in the entire animal kingdom. But despite all these cool qualities, what we didn't expect was to find out that they also have a huge contribution towards an infamous human food item. If the thought of having a beaver component in your food is making you cringe, wait while we tell you which part of the beaver we obtain this component from. In case you're an ice cream lover, especially the vanilla-flavored one, or a dessert enthusiast who loves the vanilla essence in their cooking on a routine basis, then you ought to know that the food industry employs a substance called castorium. It's a very fragrant, oily secretion with a yellowish color and is obtained from glands located in the cloaca of beavers. This substance is a vital ingredient in the food industry, especially when it comes to reinforcing certain flavors like raspberry, strawberry, and most of all, vanilla. Who knew that the disgusting origins of this substance won't be able to stop it from becoming commercial gold? And if you love vanilla ice cream, there's no denying the fact that you've probably consumed a wild amount of this beaver anal gland product. Death Snake Curry The meat of reptiles is not that safe as some countries who consume them think they are. Snakes have mastered the art of eating us, the humans. Be it through their poison or by constricting and suffocating us, they'll surely kill us if they find us. So then how do people consume this deadly animal? Put it in a soup, fry it, whatever it may be, that dinner can be fatal and kill you. I think our best bet is to just leave them alone and forget about eating them. Nutmeg Well, you all might have used this spice once in a while in something you were cooking, or maybe you use it more often. Don't panic, though. It's commonly used mostly in desserts and main courses. Consuming a small amount of this spice is perfectly safe, but if you eat more than 30 grams, that is a bit dangerous. It contains the substance called myristicin, which can cause hallucinations, confusion, and adverse physiological reactions in the body. Fugo We all know that raw meat is not good for our health and can be fatal. While people think that sushi, a traditional Japanese dish, is dangerous to consume because it has uncooked fish in it, but there's something even deadlier that they're not aware of. You might not have heard of the Fugo fish before. Cooks have to practice the art of how to fillet this fish for many years before they're legally allowed to add them to their menus. 
This is because the internal organs of the fugo contain a deadly poison named tetrodotoxin, which cannot be neutralized. When the fish is eaten, the toxin can be absorbed by the bloodstream and causes death in 50% of the cases. Now that is really risky food. This poison cannot be seen because it has no smell and color and looks like common water. Therefore, the cook has to be trained professionally and must know how to handle this fish in order to make it edible and not fatal. These days, fogu is artificially bred like many other things and hence is safer for consumption than the wild species. In Japan, however, wild fogu is still much preferred and served in over 3,000 restaurants, and it's very expensive too. Experts now say that if you're eating fogu in a licensed restaurant, then there is no danger for you. Since then, the death rate has declined from 100 deaths a year to one or two deaths per year. All the deaths now are reported from unlicensed food stations, where the cooks are not qualified to cook this poisonous and deadly fish. Lychee This fruit was considered harmless for many years. It's grown mainly in India, China, Thailand, and Vietnam. Scientists have not confirmed it yet, but it is believed to have caused the death of many children in Muzaffarpur. All the poisoned children who died ate unripe lychee the day before. Researchers have confirmed one thing that lychee contains some toxins that can greatly reduce blood sugar levels. Therefore, it's advised not to eat lychee on an empty stomach or in a large number, because then it can be dangerous and deadly. Taco Taster Surely Taco Taster is quite tasty. An employee of the outlet found it hard to resist the desire to eat Taco Taster. In 2013, a picture posted on Facebook showed the employee licking the stack of tasty taco shells. Seeing this photo going viral, Taco Bell HQ immediately suspended and later terminated the services of the employee. In 2012, another employee faced a tough situation when he posted his picture of urinating onto a tray of nachos on social media, and thankfully he was also terminated from the restaurant. Turtle Shell Jelly Turtle jelly or tortoise jelly, also known as guilingao, is a Chinese jelly-like dessert. It's traditionally made from various types of turtle's bottom shell and several herbal products. Most turtle jelly comes from commonly available turtle species to keep the price down, but some extremely expensive options are available and are made using ingredients from the golden coin turtle. Some turtle jelly on the market doesn't even include any ingredients from a turtle anymore. This delicacy is also used for medicinal purposes in China. It's said to be able to improve circulation, assist muscle growth, and restore kidney functions. Many believe that regular consumption of turtle jelly can improve skin by giving it a healthier complexion. It's usually dark brown or black in color and slightly bitter, but many sweeteners can be added to improve the taste. Foie gras This one is a pretty famous French delicacy. We all know the food from France is superior in both taste and sophistication, and foie gras is no exception. This is a pâté with unique buttery smoothness and is made from the liver of ducks or geese. To say this dish isn't cheap would be an understatement, as it sells for as high as $75 a pound. But the reason this food has provoked negative opinion amongst the American people has nothing to do with the ingredients, rather it's because of the way it's produced. There's a particular requirement when cooking the foie gras that the geese used in its making need to have an extraordinarily fatty liver. The name foie gras translates to fatty liver, so for this reason the geese need to be force-fed until their liver is fatty and ripe enough, and unfortunately a lot of people consider this practice unethical, and such treatment of the bird is classified as animal abuse, if not everywhere, at least in the US. Starting in California, the ban was then imposed by New York and many other states have followed, Although one could question the pig factories and all the cows that get slaughtered to meet the massive American appetite for the Big Mac, and it might make this ban on foie gras seem a little hypocritical, but it seems like this ban is here to stay anyway. Bread What does Burger King, McDonald's, and Dunkin' Donuts all have in common? They all use L-cysteine as a food additive. This amino acid extends the shelf life of products like bread. It's usually found in cow horns, chicken, and duck feathers. Unfortunately, most of the L-cysteine that is used in food does not come from either of those ingredients. It comes from China, where it's harvested from human hair found in barber shops and hair salons. Buy freshly baked bread from your baker. And as if you needed more reasons to steer clear of fast food restaurants, this may do it. Jaggery or Gur The advent of refined sugar has no doubt revolutionized the entire edible industry. From restaurants to packaged food factories and even in all our homes, sugar has become a kind of staple. 
There are many refined and unrefined forms of it available in the market, but some of these we just don't recommend. One of those is jaggery or gur. It's an unrefined form of sugar consumed abundantly in India and Pakistan. This form of sugar is created by heating huge quantities of palm syrup that's stirred in enormous pots, all the while being exposed to dirt and debris from the surroundings. Once the sugar is reduced to the required point, workers wearing sandals hop in the containers and collect it. To say the least, they step into the jaggery with their shoes on. To make things worse, this jaggery is then solidified in a mold that has probably never been washed and is then stored in even more unsanitary places. Our advice? Just stick to the white refined sugar if you're not a local who has a stomach strong enough to tackle all the germs and dirt in this jaggery. Horse meat. Now, technically eating horse meat isn't illegal in the US, but slaughtering horses is. So not much of a difference because you just can't get horse meat to eat unless you can come up with an extensive and intelligent plan to justify slaughtering a horse or consuming its meat. This ban was extended and endorsed by President Trump in 2018. The disgrace associated with horse meat consumption stems from the cultural taboo the Americans have inherited from their British ancestors, as the English consider horses as sacred companions of humans. The only time consuming horse meat was permitted in Britain was during the rationing era of World War II. Contrary to the US and Britain, countries like Italy, Belgium, France, Switzerland and Germany openly consume horse meat and it's known to be one of the healthier red meats. Another reason horse meat is banned in the US is that it's quite openly and abundantly consumed in Mexico, so people tend to take the horses across the border, slaughter them and bring back their meat to the US. Although the US does not react leniently to such actions and they have led to some high-profile cases of horse smuggling and rustling where superior quality breeds and racehorses have ended up on the food platters. Marshmallows You might wonder how vegetarians and vegans avoid marshmallows. They're not a meat product or a dairy product, but they do have a pretty gross connection to animals. Marshmallows are made from gelatin, an animal protein also found in ice cream and jello. That doesn't sound too bad until you look at how gelatin is actually made, by boiling the hides and bones of animals. Yep, that's right, you've been topping off your hot chocolate with cow bones for years. Cheap Penis If you're looking to boost libido, the Chinese have a bizarre food that may help. Sheep penis, along with other animal penises and testicles, are served as a remedy for the problem. Yes, you heard that correct. Threaded on a stick, grilled and served hot. A restaurant in China, Guo Li Huang, is dedicated to serving all types of dishes with animal genitalia, such as sheep gonads on a bed of curry and steamed sheep penis. The locals enjoy the flavour of the dish, but they also believe it's good for one's health. Many of the customers at the restaurant are males looking to increase potency and sexual prowess. The Chinese believe they can replenish parts of their bodies by eating dishes with those same body parts, which is why testicles and penises are consumed to improve sexual health. Instead of turning to a pill, try this unique Chinese dish instead. Bird food In 2015, shoppers at the Walmart in Chicopee, Massachusetts, were surprised to see a group of sparrows pecking away at the grocery store meat. Probably the birds took mince meat for little worms, which confused them. A woman in the kitchen area captured the horrifying scene. Walmart officials responded to the situation, claiming that the impacted product was immediately removed from the shelves and disposed of. Professionals came in, trapped and removed 17 birds. Filthy Chinese Restaurant In 2015, William Panzino, a deep cleaner, posted footage of an unhygienic restaurant named Asian Garden located in Littleton, New Hampshire. Panzino carried out cleaning of the restaurant just three months prior to uploading the video. He felt disgusted with the standard of cleaning at the restaurant. He narrates the whole episode in detail. The pathetic condition was evident from grease dripping from the filters, which accumulated everywhere in the kitchen due to excessive cooking in oil. Food ingredients were scattered and no adherence to cross-contamination law. In addition, insects also formed part of the food. The video had accumulated views of over 3 million. Several viewers were enraged to see the poor standard of hygiene at the restaurant. Fried Seahorse A seahorse is one of the cutest small marine fish found in the sea, but it's also found on China's streets as a snack. Seahorse has a squid-like consistency and is very salty. They're mostly found in soups or on kebabs and found at several street markets. You must be careful when consuming seahorse though, because they have sharp pieces that can get caught in your gums or teeth. 
The Chinese also believe there are great benefits to eating seahorse. One Chinese proverb says that eating seahorse can keep an 80-year-old granddad young. Many locals use it as an ancient Chinese medication for energy and to boost sexual performance. They can be mixed with herms and boiled as tea to treat asthma and male sexual dysfunction. Unfortunately, it appears that seahorse numbers are declining due to the high demand. Surimi sticks As opposed to popular belief, this appetizing snack is not at all made from crab meat. The reality is far from it. These sticks frequently served with salads don't come from any meat, rather they're made from the white fish flesh like Alaskan hay or North Pacific hay. Turns out there's not a single shellfish component in these sticks, as opposed to what is proudly advertised on the packaging and in commercials. The flesh of these white fish is of low gastronomic value and is thus used commercially. This tasteless flesh is mixed with salt, starch and chemical preservative. This mixture is then vigorously stirred to obtain a bland and flavorless white paste. This gets further horrifying because the waste is then artificially flavored using crab flavor obtained from the shellfish waste. The paste is pretty gross and unappetizing before it hardens and is processed to its final form. Also, the controversial origin of the ingredients we've discussed should be enough to make you reconsider your choice of munching on surimi sticks. Absinthe Absinthe became popular across Europe in the 19th century and by the early 20th century it had become the top choice for the Parisians. The drink, however, has a Swiss origin and is made from macerated plants and herbs. One of these plants called wormwood is the reason behind the illegal status of this drink in the USA. This plant is extremely hallucinogenic and since many countries in Europe along with the USA reconsidered their policies on drugs around the time of World War II, absinthe was completely banned in many countries, including the US and France. Most producers of absinthe stashed their product in a warehouse in the Netherlands and went to war hoping the ban would be lifted after the war was over. This, however, never happened and eventually the warehouse was destroyed by a German bomb strike. Deep Fried Rat in 2019, a hilarious as well as sad incident took place when a rodent was deep-fried in a restaurant. The incident took place in a Texas burger outlet. A little rat made its way to the restaurant, Pixar. Available footage shows the rat wandering in the kitchen, and meanwhile a lady in pink intervened. She probably had a different scheme in mind, but during the process the rodent made a leap of fate and fell into the deep-fryer. The customers present at the occasion were a bit disgruntled, Subsequently, the restaurant was closed, cleaned, and properly cleared of any other rodents. Chili Peppers Although a spicy chili pepper can make you feel hot and bothered, few people realize that the consequences of eating too many hot chilies can be far more gruesome than a painful toilet visit the next day. Peppers can only burn you if they're on fire when you eat them. Chili peppers, on the other hand, contain a chemical compound called capsicum, which activates the heat-sensitive neurons in our brains. Our brains are tricked into activating our burn defense system, which is where the trouble begins. As blood vessels send more blood to the affected area, this can cause inflammation. Vomiting and even blistering can occur as your stomach tries to get rid of whatever is burning it, and as your body inflates fluid-filled sacs to protect the deeper tissues. Our bodies try to extinguish the fictitious flames. The hotter the pepper, the more severe the side effects. Take a look at the Scoville scale before you pick up your next pepper if you want to avoid these symptoms. This scale compares the amount of capsicum in various chili varietals and ranks them according to their heat level. The normal jalapeno pepper has a heat rating of 5,000, however the ghost pepper has a heat rating of 1 million and has been weaponized by the Indian Army in the form of chili grenades. Meanwhile, the Carolina Reaper, the world's official hottest chili, has a unit count of 1,569,300. There's even a new pepper called Pepper X that has been rumored to have 3,180,000 Scoville units, though this figure has yet to be confirmed. Would you be willing to try out Pepper X? Let me know in the comment section below. Hairy Mouthful This grim story comes from Womble's Mama. Her uncle, a health inspector in Australia, received reports regarding a fish and chip shop which was immensely dirty and served food full of hair. The shop owner, a much hairy and sweaty man clad in a t-shirt and shorts, but did not bother to wear shoes. The inspector ascertained that hairs must have been contributed by the cook, who was advised to dress up properly and also to change the filthy oil in the fryer regularly. Subsequently, it was revealed that hair found in the food was actually that of a dead cat owned by the cook. So be careful where you eat, folks. Is this vegan? 
In 2018, a group of diners requested reservations at an Italian restaurant, Carlini, located in England. Laura Goodman was the chef in the restaurant. The diners ate the food and left, but the following evening, Laura posted a bragging statement to Facebook. Pious, judgmental vegan, who I spent all day cooking for, has gone to bed, still believing she's vegan. Certainly, some people may think that Laura might have adulterated the food with animal products. Ethically, it's just not right. In addition, a vegan customer may be having special dietary restrictions due to allergies or health requirements. Shortly, Laura retracted her statement and conveyed her apology. However, she had to resign from her job. Secret Shoppers The aroma of freshly baked goods like cookies is irresistible. However, if you see these being nibbled by rats, you wouldn't want to eat them. In 2021, at a Sainsbury supermarket located in Essex Road, London, Rodents seem to be frequent visitors for their continental breakfast. Some onlookers captured the footage which got the attention of the British general public. Sainsbury's promptly closed the store for cleaning and pest control. Although Sainsbury's assured its customers that hygiene remained to be the top priority for them, for regaining the confidence of their customers, they reviewed their slogan, helping everyone eat better. US food law factors rodents to their sales safety legislation permit. 11 rodent hairs per 25 grams of paprika, 4.5 hairs per 225 grams of noodles, and 4 hairs per 25 grams of curry powder. Cheese. Oh yes, there are tons of these. This might make you think twice before taking your coupons to the grocery store to get a sale on candies or mac and cheese. Why? We know that processed foods contain different types of dyes to change their colors to something that's more alluring to our eyes. Tartrazine is a dye derived from coal tar. This is what we also know as yellow 5, which has been linked to hyperactivity in children. Coal tar is often used for pavement seal coats, medicated shampoos, and now as an ingredient in our food. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, mixtures that contain more than 5% crude coal are considered a group 1 carcinogen. Farmed Salmon Farm-raised salmon has a shady reputation. Perhaps it's because, although being high in omega-3, it's not completely devoid of hazardous compounds. Polychlorinated biphenyls, or PCBs, are harmful industrial chemicals that have been prohibited in the United States since 1976. Norwegian specimens of the fish are exceptionally high in PCBs. When unintentionally ingested by humans, PCBs are classified as a potential cause of cancer, and are known to harm the immune system and create reproductive issues. So, how did these chemicals end up in farmed salmon in Norway? Pellets created from the pulverized remnants of tiny fish are given to farmed salmon. These small individual fish have trace quantities of PCBs and other dangerous industrial pollutants as a result of inappropriate waste disposal by companies near the streams in which they live. When numerous fish are compressed into a single pellet, the amount of these compounds is particularly high. These pellets are subsequently consumed by farm salmon, which absorb the PCBs into their fatty tissues, which are eventually consumed by people. Toxicology experts discovered that farmed salmon contains five times more carcinogens than any other food examined in 2018. So the next time you crave fish, go for the wild variety. Fruit juice. Fruit juice isn't technically a food, but it is made from food, so we'll talk about it anyway. And also, who knows an innocent natural fruit juice can cause any risk? Well, fruit juice, according to Dr. Robert Lustig, a leading obesity expert in the United States, is worse for you calorie for calorie than fizzy drinks. It may sound crazy, but a 2019 study of 14,440 American adults found that each 12-ounce daily serving of juice was linked to a 24% higher risk of death when compared to not drinking any at all. The same quantity of soda, meanwhile, only increased the mortality rate by 11%. So why is juice so bad for us? Well, most of the sugar in fruit is fructose, which has some pretty unhealthy side effects. It's addictive and can trick our brains into thinking we're still hungry, even when we've consumed our fair share of calories. When we eat a piece of fruit, the fiber content counteracts these effects by slowing the absorption of fructose and helping us to feel full. Juicing, meanwhile, releases the sugars in fruit while tearing apart most of the fiber. As a result, drinking juice provides just a fraction of the health advantages of eating fruit and has been related to obesity, dental decay, and a higher risk of type 2 diabetes. Yikes! 
A glass of morning OJ may be tasty, but I'll probably stick to a glass of water from now on. Caviar it was back in 2005 when the United States Fish and Wildlife Service prohibited all beluga products, including beluga caviar consumption. The caviar was a pretty sought-after delicacy in the food world and not very cheap, with a price tag of $200. Since eating caviar became a status symbol, this food item derived from the beluga sturgeon gained so much popularity, its market demand increased to the point where the source became an endangered species. The poor fish could not keep up with the exaggerated requirement. After all, feeding the starving and deprived multi-millionaires was a task too heavy for a tiny little fish. The US not only banned its consumption in their territory, but also demanded that the nations bordering the Caspian Sea, which is the home to the sturgeon, should provide documented proof of their efforts directed towards the preservation of the fish and to ensure that these efforts match the expectations of the US. Those nations included Iran, Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan and Russia, and none of these were able to provide the documents which led the US to impose a ban on beluga products, causing an economic demise to these nations. No doubt these countries aren't considered friends of the US. Although saving the sturgeon is possible now since the eggs are being removed by massage, and this method ensures the egg removal without harming or killing the fish. Iran produces the rarest kind of beluga caviar that's called almas. It's obtained from the albino sturgeon aged between 6 and 8 years old. Being so rare and difficult to produce, Almas comes with a hefty price tag of around $800 for an ounce, but there's no chance you'll find a vendor or supermarket selling it in the US. KFC's Secret Ingredient KFC is popular for its unique taste in fast food. It's amazing to know that KFC's secret formula consists of 11 confidential herbs and spices. However, you may find something very different to which its astonishing flavor is attributed to. In 2013, a KFC staff member was pictured licking some of the tasty mashed potatoes. Some people may say it's what gives KFC food a special taste. To satisfy its customers, KFC announced that nothing is more important to KFC than food safety, and the employee involved was immediately terminated. Queen Conch This is a kind of sea snail native to the Caribbean and tropical northwest Atlantic Ocean. It's known to be one of the largest mollusks that inhabit the region and can grow up to the size of 14 inches. These have been in demand by humans for centuries, and the natives use these as decoration, but the modern trend of queen conch shell collection has adversely affected the entire species. Therefore, the US decided to regulate its fishing to prevent the excessive fishing of the conch with hopes of preserving the creature. The queen conches aren't just popular for their shells, though. They've also been a crucial part of the West Indian cuisine and many islands of southern Florida. Not only this, but conchas are also known for their use in making tribal weapons and have a spiritual value for the Aztecs, who believe that the sound produced from blowing on the conch shell is a divine trumpet call. Silkworms Various insects are considered a delicacy in many cultures. In China, silkworms are one of those insects, and they're enjoyed by the locals. Silkworm pupae remaining after their fibrous cocoons have been harvested are used in several different ways for consumption. The flavor is like shrimp or crab and has a chewy consistency. Silkworms can be found in local markets, cooked several ways or stocked frozen and canned. Chinese-style silkworms are added to stir-fry with your favorite vegetables, soy sauce and seasonings. It's normally served up with rice or noodles, or the pupae can be deep-fried and served with your choice of dipping sauce. If you're not sold on consuming the insect in your stir-fry, you can always start with the sweeter and more tourist-friendly version chocolate-covered silkworms. That's not what I ordered. A horrifying incident took place in 2008. A New Yorker, John Agnesini, discovered something abnormal in his Subway sandwich. He was flabbergasted to find a 7-inch long knife baked into his sandwich. Fortunately, John found it before trying to bite it, but the plastic handle of the knife had melted, which caused him violent illness for about three hours. Probably some half-asleep employee haphazardly misplaced the knife. It might have been a genuine mistake, however it proved to be lucky as he was awarded $1 million in compensation. Scorpions Those looking for something crazy to snack on while walking the streets of China may find scorpions to be a tasty treat. These small scorpions are fried and served on a skewer stick. They can be found on the streets of popular cities to lure tourists into trying something local and bizarre. Since the scorpions are thin, they turn out crispy with a nice seasoning. It's believed that eating scorpions can cure certain medical conditions and can make the blood hotter in cold conditions. 
eye-opener for cheeseburger lovers. Here's a fair warning. If you're a fan of cheeseburgers, it's better if you skip this part because after hearing this, you'll never want to get another McDonald's in your life. In this section, we'll be showing you a certain substance usually referred to as the pink slime or glue by the media and food industry. What has glue and slime got to do with burgers, you may ask? It's a pink gooey commercial grade beef additive that's added to the ground meat to increase its volume, weight and quantity. It's formed by grinding the negligible parts of beef, fats, tendons and other connective tissue. This is processed in a huge centrifuge until a thick paste is created and the paste is then treated with ammonia and citric acid to purge all the possible microbes. The finished product is then sent to meat plants and restaurants ready to be mixed into what they tell us is pure meat products. This unappetizing mixture is probably a part of the sandwiches and burgers you're eating and you don't even know it. Just remember that this pink slime is present in that double beef party burger you're planning to order, so think again. Balut Every culture has a culinary specialty that raises the eyebrows, if not the gorges, of people from other cultures. Scots have haggis. Swedes have surströmming. Chinese have balut, a hard-boiled duck egg. Balut is a Chinese dish that was adopted by the Philippines in the 17th century. It is now considered a national dish of the Philippines, but it is a Chinese food, hence its inclusion on this list. Many of us consume eggs in some form without even questioning it, because they are unfertilized and have many nutritious benefits for our lives. The Chinese, along with other countries, eat eggs in a very different way, known as balut. Balut is a partially developed chicken or duck egg that has been incubated between 14 and 21 days before being boiled and eaten. Balut is a popular street food that can be found at many roadside markets. It may sound sickening to eat a partially developed duck, but this dish is considered a delicacy in many places such as China. The fertilized egg is boiled for about 25 minutes and is eaten while the egg is still warm. The yolk portion is described as rich and creamy with an overall mild taste, and some eggs contain bones and feathers that are edible, which according to local belief, make the men eating them appear more masculine. But aren't you glad you found out about these horrifying practices? Now you can quit eating those unhygienic things. Tell us in the comments which one of these made you throw up. For more awesome and entertaining content, keep following our channel. See you all next time.